contest all season long. That thing was about eight feet tall. One of the biggest trophies ever received, and we're talking about a Super Bowl winning trophy. Wow, yeah, that was quite impressive, yeah. He said it was going to go right next to the Lombardi trophy. That's right. That's how much he cherishes that as Stewart. First year guy to come in and amongst the experts and win the um, game picking contest that went on every week. Stewart and Liggins will check out. Here's quarterback at the point for Kentucky at the free throw line is Edgar Sosa. Cardinals have done a nice job all game at the foul line. We talked about it at the top of our telecast. Threes and threes and Louisville holding its own at the foul line and winning the three-point game. Rick Pitino said two weeks ago, Edgar Sosa is the final piece of our puzzle. He has a season high, 15 points at the free throw line, eight of nine. His season, Sosa's season, Louisville's season may have turned on his performance this afternoon against their Commonwealth rival, Kentucky. Yeah, I think you could be right. Uh, time will tell if that's the case, but he clearly has to continue to play at the level he showed today. Meeks with a three and the miss. Rebound, Stevens and Meeks will load it up again. Launching fouled by Smith. That was a triple try, and Meeks will have three coming at the free throw line. Smith has really done a nice job when he has been on Meeks today. Yeah, he has. They've been a lot of guys on Meeks. Three and different Cardinals have defended him. They've done a really good job at putting different folks on him, keeping track of where he was. He had that one surge for about five minutes in the first half. You see what he does from the free throw line on the season. So you can just about mark these up, which will give Kentucky a chance to get into some full court pressure. Meeks is the number one scorer in the Southeastern Conference. Coming in this weekend, he's got 22. Now, we see Samuels coming back in for good for the Louisville Cardinals. And McGee will leave, and here comes Sosa. Offense, defense, substitutions here. And Kentucky going to make pass substitutions. In comes Stewart. And also coming in will be Galloway. And they put in Liggins. Leaving Porter, Stevenson. right here. You can't have six guys out there. <laughs> Glad we can count. 38 seconds to play. Well, you'll try to pressure, try to force that ball to the sideline, and then you're going to have to foul pretty quick. Trying to trap Clark. It's off of Patterson, and it ricochets out of bounds. And this is where I would like to see in college basketball. Now you only have four seconds to get it over the timeline, which is the rule in the NBA. Sure. But now it goes back to the new 10-second clock. So that's a disadvantage to the defense when you force a re-inbound of the ball in the half point. court. It's a great point. Kentucky is out of timeouts, and Louisville has two. So the Wildcats coming in, having won six consecutive games, 11-3 and three overall. A season ago at this time, Kentucky was 7-7. Seven and seven. There were a lot of question marks about this team. They finished in conference play, 12-4, and four, and got the bid to the NCAA tournament. And did not have Patrick Patterson for the last few ball games last because eight of games. injury. You're right, good and point. And had they had him, they might have been able to win a tournament game because he was playing excellent basketball and gave them a force inside that puts a lot of pressure on opponents. I think, look, I think where Kentucky is playing on the road. They played at North Carolina and got whipped by the Tar Heels, number one team in the country. This is their second true road game of the season. And it's here in front of the hostile crowd in Freedom Hall. And they've held themselves up pretty well here, all things considered. You take a look, no timeouts left for Kentucky. A couple for Louisville. Kentucky wants to try to force a, force a turnover. Maybe allow one inbound pass and maybe a dribble or two. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Patterson has it inside to uh -oh. me. What a play by Patrick Patterson. It's a two-point game with a half minute to play. The inbound, that's picked off by Meeks. Louisville turns it over two consecutive times. Meeks inside for the tie and fouled on the play. Can you believe that, Kevin? What a great play to begin it by Patterson. Yeah, just active with the hand. And Earl Clark just tried to get that ball up over the top, panicked a little bit, and then the presence of mind to get it to the rim in the hands of Jody Meeks, and then on the inbounds pass, just assumed that it would go over the top, and I think it may have been Earl Clark inbounding that pass. And, and Clark 
just picked up his fifth personal foul and a two of 11 shooting display against this Kentucky defense and specifically Perry Stevenson this afternoon. Yeah, you feel for that young man right there, Earl Clark, because he's had a tough day that just got tougher. And Rick Patino expects so much from this young man because of his ability. Trust him with the ball, loves his versatility. I don't think it was him on both inbounds passes, Kevin, that led to turnovers, and now Jody Meeks has a chance to tie it up. Meeks, the number two free throw shooter in the Southeastern Conference, and a perfect display from the strike with 27 points this afternoon. What about the fight in these Wildcats? Yeah, there's never been a doubt about that, Kevin. All game long, it seems as though they've been fighting uphill. Only took one lead. Talked to Billy Gillespie last night at practice, and he liked this team. He liked the way the team has improved since the start of the season. He likes how hard they work. And right now, he likes that they're tied with 23 seconds to go. And it's 7 nothing. Kentucky run the last 16 seconds. So here we go, tied for the fourth time in the game. I think pick and roll here for Sosa. Middle pick and roll to give him a chance to turn the corner and create for himself or a teammate. Corner is on Sosa. They have just one more four flat. Yep. Sosa's had a great game today. And he's got the shot 2.3. He knocks in the triple. Here comes Porter. Good if it goes. Louisville is one. Well, I thought they would pick and roll, but they decided just to go one more. Sosa knew all the time, Kevin, that he was going to pull the trigger here. Porter was backed off of him to protect against the drive. He saw it. You saw Scott try to come over and set a screen. Sosa waved him off. Sosa finishes with a season high 18 points. He knocked down two threes. No player has been talked about more in this Louisville program than Edgar Sosa tonight on CBS.